There's been a lot of chatter recently surrounding self-driving vehicles. This car is driving itself. We are looking at an era where autonomous vehicles are going to become mainstream. My name is George Hotz. I am the CEO of Comma AI, and we have a self-driving car. Self-driving cars are rewriting how we think about transportation. There was this amazing intrigue and excitement. I mean, there are some marvelous technologies. All the big guns are in this race. Lyft is predicting that in five years, the majority of its rides will be autonomous. And you have Google, Tesla, and others all rushing to perfect prototypes of the driverless vehicle. And then you have George Hotz. You broke the code. This whiz kid who made big news as a teen for hacking into the iPhone and the PlayStation, trying to leapfrog all of them by building his own autonomous car. Today, the first iPhone hacker built a self-driving car in his garage. So from his garage, George is rewriting the autonomous race with plans to ship out direct to consumer, a do-it-yourself kit that turns your car into a self-driving vehicle. The Kama One is actually a product. It fits inside a small box, no weird wires going everywhere, that people will actually be able to buy and install in their own cars. It's a little smaller than a shoebox. You'll remove the rear view mirror, you'll attach this device, you'll plug in one wire from your car, and you'll be good to go. Basically, the way you used to engage cruise control on the car, you now engage the Kama driving system. The Kama driving system doesn't just do the gas, like cruise control, it also does the brakes and the steering wheel. So you can, for some stretches of road, press the button and sit back and watch the car drive. It will react faster than you. But what it is not, a self-driving car that you can text and take naps in and veg out, this isn't real. It's an extension of driving, it's not a replacement. We have a model in the car which looks around at its surroundings and then says, okay, Given what I currently see and what I have seen, this is what a human would do in a similar situation. If it's not confident, it disengages. It beeps and the human has to take control of the car. No system is up to human level yet, but our goal is to have a very large network of these cars and have them all learning from each other. Maybe now every 30 minutes, you're gonna have to take the wheel. Maybe after a bunch of software updates, that goes up to 60 minutes. You gotta think bigger. The innovation from startup companies is we like to say the clock speeds of how quickly they operate. It's just amazing. So it's really exciting how these might play out going forward. If Comet does this successfully, this is a game changer because it's putting driverless cars onto the roads and into the hands of the average driver sooner than anyone imagined.